so I had some troubles um, getting the old 2004 Corolla started up. When I started looking into it, I realized that it was probably could have been one of four things. Um, one of the easiest things was it was possibly a dead battery, which was one of my thoughts and ended up getting my battery tested at AutoZone. They said it was bad, um, put it back in my car, um, still wasn't able to start up my car. However, all of the lights before that, um, everything inside the car electrically had turned on. Um, and so the second thing I thought it was was the starter or the starter relay. And just for anyone out there who is looking for it and is struggling to find that starter relay, if you pop your your vent off and uh, this little thing, uh, it's like a little uh, compartment thing in there, you can kind of see it in the back. It's that blue, that oh, lost the light. It's that blue looking square in the back. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get a great shot of it in there. But, but there is a blue relay. When you pop this off, you should be able to see it. Um, it should be blue if it's still an OEM part. If not, it might be black. But there's people online who have posted where that is um, in a diagram. So it could have been that, or it could have been just a bad starter which is located right ah, shoot, a bad shot but it's located right here right above the oil filter and uh, you can see the gray little sensor for it right? nope that's the oil sensor but um, there's two bolts that just hold it on and there's some videos online which I won't go into detail that show you how to get the starter off of a Corolla and replace it. But um, the nice thing to know is AutoZone tests those for free for you to let you know if it's good or bad. I actually took this starter off, took it to AutoZone, they tested it for me, and it was good. So um, the other thing in the last resort was that it was potentially, and this was the problem, was my neutral safety switch which is right here and you can see the sensor on top and I don't know if I can get a sh better shot of it but you can kind of see that um, here's a little um, actuating arm that puts your that when you put your car into park neutral start and all the uh, other gears that you have this is what um, is connected to the transmission and it um, pushes this thing up and honestly I can't tell you exactly what all this does but I knew that this was bad because I was getting full power but I just couldn't get my um, my engine to start and the reason was it was a faulty um, switch and I think there must have been an electrical issue within my switch as to why it wouldn't tell the computer to go ahead and start the car up so just to give you I don't have to, didn't have time to film this um, while I was uh, doing all the work but um, this is the switch when you take it off and one thing to know it, note is that it has this kind of rectangular keyed slot and so um, you kind of have this lock nut that goes on here see if I can show that it kind of goes on right here and it locks this little indicator which will tell you exactly um, where you're at whether you're in park neutral um, or reverse and it should neutral should line up with this black line right here because um, this thing has the potential it clicks um, in this angular motion as you switch in um, between park neutral uh, and drive and reverse and so um, what I did is when I put the new one on I just 
since my car was in park, I had it all the way to the left. Um, and then I put this back on and there's only two bolts right here that hold this on. And then this part goes over some shaft that goes to your transmission. But it is this little square looking key. So you might have issues popping it off. And what I did was just took some lube and I didn't drench the sensor because I didn't know if it was bad or not. But I just sprayed this area and I think it was a 14 year old car. This was clenched so tightly on that um, shaft, that square shaft that goes to your transmission that it kind of had just locked up. And so I sprayed a little bit of this penetrant on there and then um, wiggled it back and forth. I tried not to pry too much because I didn't want to break this sensor if it happened to be good. And so um, once uh, I wiggled it back and forth for about two to three minutes, it finally popped off. And then the new sensor is just easy to put back on. You just put it right over that square shaft, which is right here. And then you put your, your, um, your lever arm back on there and cinch this down tight because it's going to push this lever arm back fully. And once I put this new one on, everything fired up. So <laughs> Took me four tries to figure out what it was, but um, I knew it wasn't the relay switch because I could put my finger on it as I tried to start the car, and um, you could feel it trying to switch over. So I knew it wasn't a bad relay. So this was expensive option four, which if you go to AutoZone, you're gonna pay $200 for this little part right here. And, um, but now that it's on there, everything starts up. So, hope this helps. Um, feel free to leave comments or questions if you have any. All right, thanks. Bye.